you, you mentioned bands that break up and say, well, we're not going to do it again. And I'm actually, I was reflecting on the, the time when I saw the Eagles play the hell freezes over tour, which was, I think, uh, nine or 10 tours ago. Um, how did you stay together? Why, why did, why do you guys still get along? How do you get along? I think, um, I think before we formed the band, we, 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 we'd all met each other. We were all friends. We hung out, you know, we went drinking, you know, we were, you know, we were in college in London and, uh, um, we'd formed pretty strong bonds with each other without, without any of the pressures of, of, of being in a band. Some bands are formed, um, you know, if you're a singer and you're looking for a bass player, you know, you would put an ad in, you know, it would have been back in the day, it would have been like in the Melody Maker magazine or Enemy magazine in, in Britain saying, you know, bass player wanted for punk rock uh, outfit. And so you would recruit band members to join a band without knowing what you were re really signing up for, who these people were, or if those personalities were compatible with each other. Um, so for us, I, I feel the strength of our friendship, you know, we'd formed, we'd formed a friendship group. We knew each other. Uh, we kind of jammed and we played with each other in different kind of groups and scenarios without the, any, any of the pressures associated with, with being in a, a band. Um, and honestly, I think that's where it comes from. Um, we all support each other you know we've over the last 20 years you know there's been you know life has happened and you know great things have happened and terrible things have happened to us um in different ways individually and collectively and of course there's hard times uh that you have to work through um but we've propped each other up uh and and you know we know we know each other inside out you know if if, if somebody walks into a room if we were you know if, if we're backstage and somebody walks into the room i can tell within a split second whether that there's the mood there if that person needs to be left alone <laughs> if now is the right time to discuss this certain topic or not um so we we we, we can all read each other very very well yeah, like you've been married Plus, together. I for... think we, we we all appreciate how you know how hard we've worked and how fortunate we are to have you know had the the journey and the career and the success uh, that we've had. And you know we um, it, it's you know it would take something terrible to um, you know for us to kind of break it all apart. Yeah, because I think we're all you know we're all so. Uh, we, we know how lucky we are. We know how many bands have tried and not made it. We know how many bands who, who we've loved and over the years we've seen fall apart for one reason or another, usually money or something. It's usually money, to be honest. Or their brothers. Um, or their brothers. But, you know, I, I, you got to feel that there's some kind of money thing going on there as well, I think. Um, yeah. um, that's a more complex situation, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but you know, we, we, you know, we're music nerds. You know, we, we, we're all massive music nerds. We all consume a lot of music, and and we understand the histories and the personalities behind ba bands, and 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 we've we've studied, and I think we've learned from everything that we've seen around us over the last, you know, well, throughout our whole lifetimes of being people interested in music.